Hello, friends of the internet. Welcome back to the Driven Dave YouTube channel. I appreciate you joining me and hitting that subscribe button. Today we're at the LA Auto Show and we are gonna check out the 2023 Chevy Bolt EUV Premier. So this is kind of cool. Um, I just finished my video review of this car, the regular Bolt, and this is the EUV. So this is gonna be a little bit bigger, uh, presumably more expensive, excuse me, more expensive. 37,990. All right. <clears throat> this is going to give you a range of 247 miles, so a little bit less than the standard Bolt. Uh, but this is a bigger vehicle, and I'm sorry about all the noise. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Um, really testing my new Rode wireless mics. <laughs> so let's get in into this and see if it's better. Uh, initially, it. I guess it feels bigger. I don't know. The seat feels about the same to me, honestly. I don't like it, <laughs> but again, I'm a bigger person. So, you know, it's not to say that like I couldn't be comfortable in this car, but initially I don't feel that comfortable in it. Um, everything in here feels just kind of cheap Chevy because it is. Um, that's not, I'm not knocking it. It's just, it is what it is, man. That's, that's, that's all it, that's all it can be. <laughs> so, um, just a lot of the Chevy plastics I'm not a huge fan of, but that's personal preference. Uh, in this one, it looks like we have these, like, I guess these buttons light up. Um, doesn't look like we're going to get any action into this. No remote detected, so it's not going to fire up any of the electronics. Um, but let's take a look in the back because I think that's where we're going to see more space as compared with the other one. And I will say it is a little bit easier to get in and out of. Uh, it seems like these openings are... Yeah, it sits a little taller. It's got that nice sunroof. It's nicer. The back seat is nicer. I still feel a little like my shoulders kind of touching the car and it just feels kind of flimsy and small. Um, so I, my head is kind of touching the ceiling. I'm just not, not comfortable. So this is a nicer headliner than the other car, than that one. Uh, this is the premiere, so you would hope that the build, you know, the materials would be a little bit more uh, premium, but it really, it's only a little bit more premium. Uh, it's more like, well, we'll put a premium sunroof on it, <laughs> but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't make up for all the rest of the car. Uh, but I think if I had to choose between the two, um, I like the the way that one looks because I like the small size. I think that's kind of that's what's fun about it. Uh, how does this open? Oh, it's down here. I like, I like the idea that that one's small, but I like this one better just because it does have more space, you know, and it's a little more usable for me. Um, but very basic car, even in the Premier trim, it's not that fancy. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so for $37,000, $38,000, Tesla Model 3, hello, you know, <laughs> I mean, literally like the same price uh the model 3 tech wise destroys this and has more range and charges better and if you get the same rebates you know you know what i'm saying and again i'm not trying to hate on this i'm just saying like for the money i don't know i for me i wouldn't be able to justify it but maybe i'm not the right Maybe I'm not the right person to ask. Oh my gosh, it's so noisy. So I think that's my cue. I'm gonna end my video on this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And my friends, until next time, stay driven.